And then all of a sudden what happens is you're comparing that property that you can't afford for every other property that you see in the future. Have you ever dreamed of finding your perfect beach home? You know what? It can be a heck of a process. It can be challenging. It can be a lot of sleepless nights and it's the biggest decision that you'll ever make. You know, I'm here to help. I'm Mark Magstead. I'm a local real estate expert and I've been selling real estate here locally for 20 plus years. And I have three tips to helping you find that perfect beach home. But before we get into this, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. All right, number one tip in finding your perfect beach home. You know what they always say, location, location, location. But this is absolutely key. There's a couple different variables living in a beach community. One, you can be on the water. There's not a lot of us that are lucky enough to be directly on the water. Primary residence, second home, third home. You're gonna have a lot of deferred maintenance. You're gonna have that sea air, you're gonna have all kinds of stuff. I had a friend of mine that actually lived on the water and he said that he roughly spent $20,000 a month in just upkeep. We're talking rust, we're talking corrosion, we're talking window cleaning, pool, all that stuff. So anyway, either you're on the water. Secondly, are you cool with being in a beach community but not necessarily being directly on the water? If so, that opens up the price point to a lot of people. On the water, in La Jolla, you're not gonna to touch anything for under $4 million and that's gonna be a scraper, you're gonna to have to build a brand new home. If you work your way back, you could go into a condo and or you could go into a detached home and you're looking anywhere from probably 700,000 on the very low end all the way up to probably three to four million, depending. You're gonna get a little bit bigger lot, not in a condo obviously, but in a house you're gonna get a bigger lot, you're gonna get walkability, you're gonna get ease to getting to places, you're gonna be able to hop on your bike, your golf cart, you're gonna to get to the ocean to be able to do your surfing and your fun activities. But there's actually a lot of people that don't wanna be down in the hustle and the bustle because it will get busy, the summertime tends to get busy, people coming and vacationing. Then you can go a little bit up on the hill. Still a beach community, but you're gonna have views towards the ocean. These tend to be a little bit more expensive, probably 2.5 million all the way up to, I'd say 18 to 20 million in the beach communities, depending on size. You're gonna get bigger lots, you tend to get a pool, jacuzzi and that, and a little bit of yard space. All right, number two on the list of finding your perfect beach home. You need to establish what are your key activities and what type of lifestyle do you lead. Okay, let's say you're into surfing, right? If you're in a beach community and you're able to get to the beach within a few minutes and or five, 10 minutes, you're gonna probably surf as much as you possibly can. I had a friend of mine that lived on the water. We kept all of our surfboards in his garage, which was awesome. We would get up in the morning, ride our bikes over, we would surf for 30 minutes, hop out, come back, and we were done. So that's what I'm saying. I have friends of mine that do live in the area that love to surf, but driving, parking it becomes a hassle. If you love biking, rollerblading, roller skating, all that good stuff, you're gonna be in a beach community and you're gonna find that activity everywhere. Lastly, if you don't need to do the specific beach activities, you don't necessarily need to buy here. I have a friend of mine that does not like the beach, but he has a house right on the water. Does he go to the beach ever? Once in a great while just to walk, but it's crazy. In that case, you could buy yourself a mega mansion inland. The third tip in finding your perfect beach home, finance. If you're one of the lucky people, you have enough cash to buy a beach home, whether beachfront or whatnot, great. It's easy, we love you. But if you need to do financing, you need to get pre-approved early. It's as simple as filling out an application, they check your credit report, they find out what kind of finances you have, they figure out your debt to income ratio, and once they get that, they'll give you your number. The most challenging part of our job is you're actually out, you're looking at property, you find this beautiful home and they're like, yeah, I talked to my lender, we're good. And all of a sudden you call him back and he's like, oh no, they have this BK four years ago and we can't do it, I'm sorry. And then all of a sudden what happens is you're comparing that property that you can't afford for every other property that you see in the future. And one other key tip, if you're buying a home, you're in escrow, everything's accepted, don't go finance something. Don't go buy a TV and finance it. Don't go buy another car and finance it. I had a person that did that. 
great friend of mine, he bought a car during escrow. All of a sudden, it was this huge debacle. They had to redo everything. They ended up getting the loan, but they had to pay more money down, so don't do that. Hey, thank you so much for watching my three tips to finding your perfect beach home. You know, if you have any questions about this particular video, if you're going through the process, or if you're actually thinking about going through the process, feel free to reach out anytime. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, it's all free, and that way you'll get notified about all kinds of new videos like this in the future. Thanks a lot.